So welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Manchester United crew mode. This is the final episode, the season finale. We've got the Champions League final to play. And also we're going to take a look at the end of season stats for all the players and stuff. So should be an interesting episode. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for reaching the end of the series. But now it's time to get the job done one last time. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like for me. Make sure you subscribe as well. We've got 65% of you guys watching the videos but not subscribed. If you want to know all the latest FIFA 21 news, make sure you subscribe right now. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. They've got a new and improved app and they want you to try it out. It's cleaner, simpler and smarter than ever. Now this app is the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you use my link in the description. You can download it for free. Now we've got some youth players, they want out. Obviously I haven't signed many youth players besides one wonder kid and uh, the rest of them can go. There's not really anything too exciting there. Plus this could be the final dance. What do they call it, that Netflix documentary, The Last Dance? This could be the last dance with this team. We're moving to the PS5. I don't know if I can carry progress over yet, who knows. But this could be the last dance. The final time you see this team play, but I've had a fun season with them. And uh, the last dance, man. One more time against Man City, the derby. Well, we take to the press one more time. Let's see what questions they have to offer us. It's just got better and better for your team as the season's gone on, hasn't it? Already treble winners, and today you're chasing the Champions League and a quadruple. Can this season get even better? I'll just say this is a very determined team. It's a massive game, a final, and the extra edge is that you're playing your great rivals, Man City. With all that in mind, have you made any special plans for handling the big day? I'll just say we're always ready. Fantastic performance and a resounding win in your previous match. Looking ahead to the game against Man City, do you think your boys now have a psychological advantage? I'll just say we don't worry about the opposition, mate. Well, all the media stuff is done. Now it's time to talk on the pitch. Let's get the job done. So the final lineup of the season. We've got Williams at left back. Wan-Bissaka right, Lindelof Bailly, Pogba van der Beek, Sancho, Rashford, Fernandes and Martial. I was impressed by Pogba more than Fred lately, so Pogba starts. Well, here we go. Sancho warming up with the rest of the team. It's all going to be about having a great start. We need to defend well. We also need to take our chances. Kevin De Bruyne is back, and uh, we all know this guy is always out to get me like Mbappe. So hopefully, you know, we win today's match. It would be a sad ending if we lose the final and we've won the treble. There's the road to the final. We beat PSG. Bayern Munich, we didn't have an easy run at all. Man City versus Inter, Real Madrid as well. Atletico Madrid, they didn't have it easy as well. So both teams have worked hard to get here. Can't use the anthem because of copyright, so let's just move on. Pogba lays it off to Bruno Fernandes. Martial's made a run. He could be through. Use your pace, my friend. Martial, can he grab another one today? Oh, no. All he had to do was hit it to the side of Edison and he would have scored. Fernandes whips it in. Martial with the header. Oh, goes to the back post. Look at this. Juan Bissaka's going himself. Plays it into Sancho, who's going to outpace De Bruyne. Bruno Fernandes holds your run up. We play it to Bruno. Gets blocked. We chip it over to Martial, who heads it back to Rashford. And we can't do anything with it. Oh, come on, boys. It looks like Aguero's retiring as well. It says hanging up the boots for him. Van der Beek lays it up to Rashford. Martial holding it up. Bruno Fernandes. Holding it up. Look at the gap. Martial. Martial scores. Finally, we have the breakthrough. It had to be him. Well, Bruno Fernandes held it up. They weren't putting pressure on him. Martial makes the run. And uh, he was pretty unmarked there. No chance of him missing that one-on-one. -on -one. So 14 goals in the Champions League for Martial. He's got to be the best player in the world at the moment. The amount of goals he's bagged this season, there's no one better. Nice pass. Bruno Fernandes plays it up. Look at this. I don't know what they were doing. But there's a lot of space here to get number two. Sterling's coming across. Wambasaka, go yourself. Wambasaka, oh, that's half time. And a very, well, I won't say comfortable because Man City, you know, they did scare me a little bit. But we've got the one goal lead, which makes me feel more comfortable. But it's not over yet. Please don't make him score, please. FIFA gods, please listen to me. De Bruyne. It goes over the wall and Pogba clears with the header. Bye. It's offside ref. No. De Bruyne. Actually, it's Kramerich. Don't let him turn. Don't let him turn. Well done. Well done. Still got it. No penalties, please. Just clear it. Here we go. Pogba. No, no, no. It's coming back. They've got so many players. And there we go. We get a bit of a break. Bruno Fernandes lays it back to Pogba. Bruno Fernandes. Lay it back. And run. Van der Beek over the top to Rashford. Here we go. 
It, it should be all over here. Rashford, it's over. It's over. Champions League final winners. It had to be the captain as well. Leading by example, but we absorbed all that pressure from Man City. They left themselves vulnerable. Of course, they had to go for it, but we played it well. Chipped it over the top. Rashford runs through and uh, took his time there on that one-on-one, -on -one, but the main thing is he scores. So three minutes left. It's over for Man City now. Can't believe it, man. We've won the quadruple on ultimate difficulty as well. I mean, I didn't have competitor mode on. Maybe that would have made it a bit harder, but I, I just got dizzy watching them do all those skill moves all the time. Just didn't look normal, so I turned it off. Could have used sliders to make it a bit harder, but overall, we had a great squad as well. Like, this team was expected to do well. I just didn't think I was going to do this well. Last minute here, final kicks. Ref, just blow the whistle. There's no time, there's no time left for him. And that's it. No, nope. still a corner ref. Come on, we're three minutes over, mate. We're three minutes over. Just blow the whistle. Oh, De Gea, what a save. Oh, my goodness. Just blow the whistle, ref. It's seven minutes now. The match is over. I want to go home. Another chance here, and Stones butchers the header. And that is it. Champions League winners, the quadruple winners. What a series, what a season. I really don't know what to do with this team anymore. I think we'll just call it there, boys, for the team. No season two. I mean, depends what the PS5 thing does, if you can carry your progress over or not, since it's backwards compatible this time. But I think we're done with this team, boys. There's nothing left to do, man. Well, the boys are doing the same celebration that they did a week ago in the FA Cup final. EA, please add more variety to these celebrations. If you've seen it once, you've seen them all. And uh, fantastic performance. Fantastic team. The last dance, I think, with these guys. Rashford, for the fourth time this season, lifts another trophy. He's getting used to it now. We are the Champions League winners. I just love this team. In attack, defense, we could work on a bit. Midfield's okay. But yeah, the defense started to grow on me as well. You know, Lindelof and Bailly, they had a shaky start, but then they started to get better. And towards the end of the campaign, they were just playing like Maldinis. And um, up front, fantastic players, no complaints there. So the final post-match interview of the season. A lot of people were talking before the game about what a dangerous opponent Man City can be, but your team looked full of confidence and ran out comfortable winners. I'll just say it's a big day for Manchester United. An unprecedented clean sweep for your team. Are they the greatest ever? I'll just say uh, they've sacrificed everything for the team. That was a pretty impressive two-goal win for United. Would you say you controlled the game pretty much from start to finish? I'll just say uh, we deserved our goals today. Big man Sancho, the most expensive signing we did at the start of the season. Poses next to the trophy. Player of the tournament was Martial. And speaking of uh, player of the tournaments, let's take a look at some of the stats. So in terms of appearances, De Gea played 64 matches. I don't think he missed a game. Maybe one or two games, actually. Bruno Fernandes played 63. Rashford, 62. Martial, 62. Sancho, 61. Let's take a look at the highest goal scorers for the team. Martial leads the pack with 63 goals in 62 appearances. My goodness. What a run he had, man. He also got 20 assists as well, so that's pretty good as well. 20 assists, 63 goals, and a match rating average of 8.10 in all competitions. Bruno Fernandes also had a good season. 28 goals, 30 assists in 63 appearances. Where would we be without this guy as well? Rashford, 13 goals, 17 assists. Dembele, 13 goals, 9 assists. Don't forget Dembele scored some crucial last-minute goals as well in one episode. Greenwood, 12 goals, 6 assists. I think Greenwood would be a great player as well if we actually started him every game. He would have racked up a couple goals. Van der Beek also did well. 10 goals, 17 assists. Sancho, 7 goals, 15 assists. Wasn't as good as I thought he was going to be, but he still did pretty well. Fred had a good season. 4 goals, 9 assists. Traore, 3 goals, 2 assists in 8 games. He did some pretty good stuff coming off the bench. Luke Shaw, 2 goals, 3 assists. McTominay, 2 goals, 1 assist. One Bissaka there with a goal. I think most of the players scored there. Dan James, Pereira, Pogba. Didn't have a good season. One goal, seven assists. But I didn't play him much. And the rest of the guys are there. We've got Romero, Jones. Harry Maguire didn't use him much. Matic, Henderson there. Didn't use him much as well. Dalot, 10 appearances. Graf, one appearance. Tanganga, seven appearances. De Gea, 64 appearances and 16 clean sheets. So let's take a look at the development. Looks like Sancho is our best player at the moment. Rashford is flying at the moment. A lot of things have gone up. He went from an 85 to an 89 overall. Martial went from an 84 to an 88. Pogba up to an 87. De Gea stays at 86. Van de Beek goes up to 86. 
We've got some of the best players in the world in this team now, by the looks of it. Wambasaka also went up. Dembele went up to an 85. Maguire went up to an 84. Lindelof up to an 83. Fred up to an 83. Luke Shaw. Bailly. He had a good season at the end. Henderson went up to 81. McTominay. Greenwood. This guy also grew a lot. Williams, another great player here at left back. They really grew throughout the season. Matic, Dalot, Pereira, Jones, Tanganga, Fosu Mensa, Twanzebe, and a few other guys there. So the most valuable player is Jaden Sancho. He rose up to 37%. Rashford, 54%. He's now worth 120 million. Bruno Fernandes, 23%. Martial, 68%. Man, he doubled his value, man, with all the goals he scored. Van der Beek, 61%. Dembele, 12%. Pogba, 2%. Wambasaka 30%, Greenwood 88%, what a rise there. Lindelof there, a few other guys there. Scott McTominay, Henderson went down. Bailly, Brandon Williams 128% growth in the value right there. Dan James went up by 50. So let's take a look at the table one more time. Man United go on top. And in the relegation zone we had Sheffield, West Brom and Fulham. In terms of the Premier League, Martial got 34 goals in 37 matches. Almost a goal a game. In assists, he also leads 16 assists in 37 matches. How did he get so many assists, man? That's unbelievable. Fernandez there. Our team got a lot of assists. Clean sheets, unfortunately. De Gea could not come first. He got 12 in 38 matches. Leicester beat me to that one. Yellow cards. Fred almost won that one. Red cards. Don't see anyone there. The FA Cup top scorers. Martial leads the pack. Seven goals in six matches. Fernandez got the most assists alongside Rashford. Clean sheets. Uh, De Gea comes in at number six. Carabao Cup, Martial leads the pack as well. Six goals in three matches. And uh, Van der Beek, three assists there, comes in that second spot. Champions League, Martial, 14 goals in 12 matches. Fernandez with the most assists, seven assists in 11 matches. And clean sheets, De Gea comes in at 13th spot. So it looks like Wolves did pretty well. They won the Europa League 2-0 against Marseille. That's pretty good for them. Arsenal got eliminated in the semis. And uh, let's take a look at how the other leagues went. Who's getting promoted? Watford are getting promoted alongside Bournemouth. And I don't know who won the playoffs there. PSG won the French League once again. One loss all season. Dortmund is leading at the moment against Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga. In the Serie A, Juventus have won once again, beating Inter Milan. And taking a look at La Liga, Barcelona come out on top four points ahead of Real Madrid. And we'll leave it there. So it looks like that's pretty much done there. Don't think there's anything else to check. I want to thank you guys, actually, the board objectives. Before we even sign off, we're going to check the board objectives. You can see how much I care about those. Finances were terrible. We made 400 million profit, but I only had a transfer budget left of 22k for the whole season. So objectives. We finished the season with a profit margin of 270. We beat that one. We won the Champions League. We won the final. We signed three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall. And uh, we got a streak of 10 games without defeat at home. We had 19 matches undefeated at home. That's fantastic. Long term, within three seasons, signed four of the best players. Okay, we couldn't do that one. Domestic success, all done. Financials, all done. So the board is happy. 97 overall for me. Do we get any interesting jobs here? Spurs want me. PSG. And that looks about it. Come on, man. Final look at the Youth Academy. Castro is left. Everyone else left. Uh, they couldn't be bothered staying. But Castro is still there. So yeah, that's it, boys. We're going to sign off. There's nothing else to do. Let me know what you thought of this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking with me for the whole way through. And I had a lot of fun playing this, man. What a team. It didn't get much better than that, man. But if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like for me. If you want to catch more content, make sure you are subscribed. And if you need something else to watch, please make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you right there. For the final time in this series, I'll see you next time.